Hello. In this video I want to show you how to collimate a Newtonian telescope using the Barlowed laser method. This method is particularly useful for owners of Dobsonian Newtons that are large enough to make adjusting the primary mirror, while looking through a Cheshire eyepiece impossible because of the length. The regular laser method is an option but it is flawed, which I will show you later. For this Barlowed method you will need a circular center marking on the primary mirror, a Barlow lens, a laser, and a white screen that is placed at the back end of the focuser tube. I'm not sure if these screens are available commercially, but they're easy to make using thin white cardboard and some tape around the edge. It should have a hole of about half a centimeter at the center that matches the mechanical center of the focuser tube. There are easy tricks to find the center of a round piece of paper by folding it a few times. Helical focuses may need another approach. For the first step, adjusting the secondary mirror, I use the Cheshire eyepiece. Leave the white screen off in this step. I highlighted the center marking because the camera would only focus on the crosshairs at the end of the Cheshire tube. Once the secondary mirror adjustment is finished, remove the Cheshire and put the screen in place. Install the laser in the Barlow tube and use the brightest setting. Notice how the laser beam is diverged into a cone by the Barlow. This is needed to create a patch of light around the center marking on the primary mirror. This patch of light will reflect back to the secondary mirror and will become visible on the screen. In this patch we can also see the shade of the donut shaped center marking. Now all we have to do is center this donut shade around the hole on the screen. The iteration process will be easier in comparison with the Cheshire method and will involve less walking hence and forth between the Cheshire eyepiece and primary mirror. Though, for this video I used a small Dobson, for practical reasons. The reason this method is more accurate than the regular laser method is that it cancels out the effect of any play that exists between the Barlow lens and the focuser tube. Even with the tightening bolt secured you cannot be sure that the mechanical axis of the focuser tube is parallel to the optical axis of the Barlow lens. This play might introduce only a tiny error at the focuser tube, but it will travel the full focal length down to the main mirror where this error might become significant. It becomes apparent when using only the laser collimator. Besides that, the laser collimator itself is often poorly collimated, introducing even more errors. When this is done, you can do another check with the Cheshire, order a Statist. Don't forget to remove the white screen afterwards because it seriously downgrades your view as I have often experienced. Well, this is basically it. This is just a quick guide how to use this method before each observation session. The full collimation procedure that applies to a newly built telescope for instance involves more steps. I'm not an expert on optics or collimation in general. There are other people that explain the theory concerning collimation way better than I can. I will leave a link in the description if you want to know more. Finally, Credits must be given to the Swedish telescope builder Niels Olof Karlen who came up with this method. I hope this video is of any use to anyone and my apologies for using a robot voice. Clear skies.